but uh, yeah, no, very comfortable. I don't really have too much suspension, really. Just rock idle, just camber adjustments and stuff to at least, you know, get it to fit and tuck. But yeah. There's not much to it. Really simple, as I like my build, just simple and clean. No rubbing, interesting. No rubbing. Whoa. No rubbing. Uh, the fenders are perfectly, um, you know, shaped to where it doesn't hit anything, but I have no underlining. That was all gone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could rub if you want me to like slam it and lower it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're good, we're good. And I ride comfortably at a height, so nothing hits or whatnot. Here. So, bags for life for you now? Bags for life. Okay. You won't go back. You go, you go bags, you don't go back. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Motor Miami. Today we have Aaron. Aaron, thank you so much, man, for making the time. Seriously, it's super early and you drove from far distance, so I definitely appreciate that, man. Thanks, hey. thank you, man. Thanks, seriously. I'm just honored to be here, bro. Nah, the honor's yeah. ours, man. You have super clean build, but before we get this, this beautiful build, tell us, what do you drive? This is an 04 Acura TSX. 04 Acura CL9. TSX. Man, so nice. Okay, uh, before we get into this car, tell us a little bit about yourself. When do you remember thinking, I like cars, it's kind of my hobby? uh so obviously my generation fast and furious one mm -hmm. but i've always been a honda guy i always you know would drive growing up and just see just i've always loved em1s integra's d9 favorite chassis of all time all the cords and just kind of went from there i didn't start getting cars until maybe about 2010 got my mm -hmm. first integra a dc4 and then all it took was my buddy influenced me from tax season and say dude slam it and he regrets that moment ever since, and this is where I've ended up. Oh man, that's cool. So what becomes your first car? Uh, actually, the first car was a hand down for my parents, a Nissan Xterra, five okay. speed though. That's, that's where I learned manual uh, when I was 16. But um, yeah, I'm more of a, I actually like trucks first. I've always still won a 97 beat up forerunner. So mm. I still love trucks and everything, but um, you know, I stick to Hondas, just reliability um, from friends helping me out, like yeah. fixing the Integra. Okay. And so I've had DC4, I had a DB1 Tegra, the B20 swap, and then I love sedans, and then for the future, for future family and whatnot, and then decided it was either this or a TL, or just any kind of Accord. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So then I just kind of stuck to this because I prefer the K24 over a J-Series. So. Ooh, okay. Sorry for Controversial all the comment that's, right there. That's just me. I don't want of an enemy that's not reflected. <laughs> yeah. All the U.S. guys, my bad. <laughs> the comments by the, by the guests. No, 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 I, I get you. I think K is the way, so J is cool, but I think K is the way. Mm -hmm. um, so TSX was definitely not running, right? Um, yeah. Where did you stumble upon this one? So this is a word of mouth uh, from a friend of a friend and uh, he happened to have it um, and then had a vision and I met Jose, shout out to Jose, mm -hmm. you invited him, but um, he was on bags, all full of Mugen and everything. I'm like, yeah, I preferred the stand scene. I'm so not. what was the vision? Was that the vision? Vision was just like, I've always just like slamming cars. Okay. Ever since my buddy helped me slam my Integra, that's all I care about. I don't care about, you know, being Griezmann with a horsepower or turbo or any of that. Nothing wrong with that. I love when I see builds like that. I can respect it, of course, just, but for me, I just, it's just a daily, it's mm -hmm. like it look pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just a very simple and clean guy. And so um, I saw his car, the second I saw air, I'm like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, and I you, get you. That VIP stance, you know, aggressive camber to just, you know, riding low. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the color. Uh, man, is it paint or wrap? This is paint. This is awesome. Uh, and obviously tells you the name of the color. This is uh, the original Midori Green uh, code from the factory. Why this color? So it was either this or I wanted to go Aztec Green from the DE9 chassis, uh -huh. but I pretty much, I'm a very OEM plus guy. Mm. I like to keep things very, you know, like I'm a Honda fan, so. Gotcha. Yeah, great choice. Great choice yeah. is definitely the only one that I've come across. Uh, it uh, caught my attention right away. And at exactly, the I like to build my car where it does stand out. I like to be very loud. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us about the front end. What have you done to it? Uh, so literally, it's just a A spec lip kit, just fogs, and uh, eventually, I do want to go Euro R with the fronts to get the clears to match the rear. Mm -hmm. But 
I prefer the Acura logo over the Honda, just my personal opinion. Like every oh my other, God. like every TSX owner, they always swap out Honda badges. Yeah. But I get it for the Euro R look, but I actually want to keep it that way. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks clean either way, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, you can't go wrong. Sometimes you, you can update uh, the badge and it looks completely different mm -hmm. for the better. These ones, I feel like you're, you're good. Hit and miss, yeah. uh, they're both good. So you don't, you don't have to worry about it. All right, that's awesome, man. And then everything else in the car, uh, what else, side skirts, things like that? So Mod List um, is a full A-spec lip kit. Uh, got the fogs. I did have Depot headlights, but I prefer, again, OEM. The ballast on those were terrible. So this one just went back to OEM, slapped the ballast so I can see. And with the last previous color, the ambers were good. But now I'm like, yeah, I want to go clear. Yeah. So clearing everything. Uh, HIC visors, full sides and rear. The car didn't come with the OEM spoiler, but I like oh. a spoiler, mm -hmm. but I'd like to be different. Everyone has the, you know, the Mugen. And so I wanted just to keep it OEM, OEM plus. So I just picked up a OEM spoiler on it. Okay. Um, the custom clear tails that, shout out to Jose again. He helped me with those. All right, man. Well, car looks super nice. Any major plans for the outside? Outside, I'm still debating if I want to go back with splitters. I had a splitter set up and I don't know. I like that simple, clean look. Um, my buddy, uh, Chris, uh, shout out Chris, I'll see on nine. He has uh, I want to go clear everything on this. Oh, so, so he has the and... clear fogs so mm -hmm. I can replace in the housing. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Chrome delete. Oh, okay. Uh, you're our front headlights. Suspension. What do you got going on? Um, I'm on a true heart uh bags struts uh and it's a uh, 3p uh airlift management okay. six gallon tank two compressors That's pretty much it um it's this car is a, i call it the um the budget build but it's just got uh, some rock auto uh front adjustable ball joints and then um I got rear camber arms. That's pretty much it for the fitment. I get a lot of questions asking me like, what do I have for my setup for everything? It's very simple. Mm -hmm. And on top of it for laying as low as it is on the front, uh, cut the top of the strut towers. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about budget build when you completely respray to an OEM color <laughs> that didn't belong to it. But anyways, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you keep thinking as a budget build. Oh no, uh, it's a budget build, trust me. <laughs> I find ways to make it affordable. I know times, times are tough, but I mean, it's trust me, there's zip ties everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm have to borrow some from you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so obviously bags, uh, you have to fit some nice wheels and tell us about your wheel spec and tires, man. Nailed it, look, man, just killed it. It is trial and error. I got lucky, but um, one of the guys from UA Squad, uh, Zach on IE, taught me uh, when it comes to fitment, uh, willtheyfit.com. That's kind of been my go-to website to figure out how to fit tire fitment and wheel Ooh. specs with this. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, obviously everything is rolled, um, mm -hmm. but not a lot, honestly. It's oh. just enough just to get something to snug in there when I first had the car running on eight and a halfs. But um, these uh, MB Battles are 18, nine and a half, 15 offset. And with the bags, I mean, like you said about fitment, there's no excuse. But um, with the, obviously with the camber kit, uh, front adjustable ball joints, um, it was just trial and error. Yeah. I think right now, aired up, I have set up in the rear is negative two, negative three, and the front is straight zero. Air up. Aired up. That's not bad. So from that, we did the math on just actually airing out, cutting the strut towers, adjusting the rear camera arms, and with getting a line from my boy, shout out True Moto, my sponsor, uh, just kind of got the team going to get this thing set up. Ah, it's great. <laughs> no. A lot of people ask, like, dude, how's bags feel? Honestly, I forget it's bag when I drive. It drives like a like if it was stock, smooth, mm -hmm. fine. Because you have stretched tires, so that also plays a huge impact, you know? Yeah, it does play effect. But honestly, like as much as it's stretched, um, I daily this. It's like a level two stretch. I wouldn't say it's like a lot. Mm -hmm. so. It's gonna, it's gonna adjust and fluctuate with the streets, but sometimes it, so where I aired out, I aired out on an uneven uh, oh, pavement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it airs up, it doesn't calculate it 
completely mm. to get it to where it needs to be. So sometimes I have to adjust not yeah. too much. And you got to think of the weight and what's in the car to all kinds of stuff. Like the bags are sensitive. Oh yeah, yeah. How, uh, I was about to ask you how long have you been uh, bags and no major issues? Uh, three years. Uh, I made a lot of research to make sure when it comes to bags, because I was like, I want to go new bags, territory. Yeah, but it's new territory. I don't know anything. Obviously, Jose uh, helped me out a lot too. But what's the maintenance you have to do with bags? Honestly, as long as you empty your tank so the condensation doesn't rust into that or get into the lines and you know flood it or whatnot. Um, and another thing is, depending on the thickness you have for the hose lines, um, make sure they're thick enough and keep up to date. Because obviously, you think about wear and tear, bags will crack through years. Mm -hmm. uh, the lines, when they're up and down through weather, with summer and winter, will crack. And sadly, I mean, sadly, honestly, that the worst part I've ever had to deal with uh, issues on my bags was um, just the lines. I always freaked out, like, did I pop a bag? Uh, just a couple times I've driven and like, I just start rubbing and it just will slam on the left side. PSI was at zero on the front. So leaks. Just a, a leak always, and it's just a leak. And Jose's helped me out. My buddies at True Motives have always helped me out. Like, oh, it's just a kink, it's a kink. And all you gotta do is have extra hose lines in my trunk and just replace it. And that's all it is. Yeah. And empty your tank. And that's pretty much like all you need to do when it comes to maintenance, as long as you upkeep with those two and mm -hmm. make sure with installation, if you're doing it with yourself or a friend or just a shop, that they properly tuck everything. So don't expose it with the front um, spindle and everything when right. you're turning. So. It's going to tangle up, and that's what happened. And mm -hmm. so Jose helped me. We tuck it up from the uh, the housing and to under the hood. Oh, wow. So okay. it's away from everything and away from heat. And that's how, that's how you're properly supposed to do it. The outside looks very classy. Let's check out the interior. Wow. I got black ice on deck. Yeah. Are you sponsored by it? If not, you should be. <laughs> it literally just smells like black ice. Yeah. All right. Uh, so tell us, man, what do you got going on? Uh, like I said, it's just a stock car. Uh, the seats were really worn out, obviously, for an 04. All these cars, the leather seats are all ripped and flattened out. Um, this is endless RPM cover seats. Mm. Um, a lot of my friends from the T uh, UA squad always, I like that diamond stitch VIP look and stuff. So just got that, was able to, a buddy of mine hooked me up with these and uh, just uh, the radio head pretty much, I guess you want to call that a mod. <laughs> Um, and then actually, hey, check out that center uh, centerpiece. Shout out to my buddy Chris. That's fresh from factory. Hook me up with that. But yeah, there's not much going on. Just that simplicity of just the cover seats to cover up the rips. And mm -hmm. I like that simple OEM look. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is original. Mm -hmm. I don't like the, the Honda badges and swaps, so I kept the steering wheel like that. I don't mm -hmm. want to go aftermarket. I like to keep it as OEM as possible. I like the simplicity. I love the look as these cars, as even stock. Yeah, I like yeah. the way they look. Mm -hmm. Everything about them. The dash, everything. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I agree mm -hmm. a thousand percent. I mean, if you want to look, check out that cool, sweet shift knob. <laughs> so that's a big shift knob, no? A Samurai, no? Or yeah. which one is it? But there's really not much in, uh, for mods and interior. Eventually, I do want to get like, you know, even the OEM uh, floor mats. Because these are just ones that the guy had when mm -hmm. I bought them, and they don't even come in this car. I don't know what those are. Gotcha. But yeah, eventually I wanted to kind of OEM plus everything, like original mats mm -hmm. and stuff. So I ride comfortably at a height, so nothing hits or whatnot. So and bags for life for you now? Bags for life. Okay. You won't go back. You go. You go bags. You don't go back. Um, if this, if I had like <laughs> shout out to Static Chuko, <laughs> <laughs> Chuko, I'm sorry, bro, I can't live. Nah, it's too, I was it's gonna, too, I was bitch right now. It's too expensive, man. I'm not rich like that. I was blood went through his veins. What? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Chuko. I love you, bro. Thanks for the fender. Shout out to Static Chuko, dude. He, he hooks it up. He hooks it's it up. It's so funny. But if I, I'll admit, if I ever had like a daily, I would actually want a Static this and like camber it and everything. Um, a bag be daily. Bag would be daily. That's the thing, yeah. The bag, the daily would be bagged. Um, my project car would be static. As I'll admit, I, I still understand and I wish I could be diehard static. Well, let's see the power plant if you don't mind. Um, let's see, uh, you say you B20 it? Oh, that was my Integra. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I thought you'd B20 this one. Oh, B, B series, dude, that's, oh, man, that's old school. And you don't want to do B18 on this? Why would I ever get a car like this and Get rid of the K, man. Oh, you J-swapped it. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you get these. Right? Yeah, yeah. Could have had a TL, but no, you want to go with this. Well, I mean, 
04, so it's coming up on, you know, 19 years, is that right? Did I do my math yeah, right? About, yeah, 19 years. Um, how many miles does it have, according to? According to what the cluster is saying, but I'm running at like 240 right now, 240K. Sick, so good. And so obviously, any plans for the motor? Okay, it's last on the list. I, I can care less for performance, mm -hmm. and I like to keep it as stock as possible to have less issues, but mm -hmm. eventually just, you know, headers, um, intake, you know, exhaust. I'm going to go Magnaflow exhaust. I love the way those sound, mm -hmm. which is very deep and yeah. nice. But no, I'm a very simple guy. Not really too much. The only mod you're going to see under here is just obviously to cut strut towers just so I can get that fitment. You guys Nailed can see. it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> then that thing's really stretching. Yeah. Huh? Um, for those that don't know, because I get up constantly on my page, but everyone always says, dude, how do you get your front to be so low? There you go, guys. That's it. Yeah. Just get screenshot this video whatnot that's how you cut it out <laughs> that's how it is and to make it easier too it's cool as you ever get alignments you can just adjust it right there instead of taking a whole wheel off so it actually helps well did you look at and, that and everyone says it uh, can affect your driving the subframe and crack it it's been like that ever since i've owned the car it's been fine and now i'm not getting covers just so i can adjust the ball joints up in the top so mm. i choose not to have covers and now everything's been fine in a car and then flood and rain so awesome dude yeah, yeah. All right, Aaron, thank you so much, man, for making the time. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing this amazing build. Fitment, some point, man. I appreciate it. Nailed it, dude. Nailed puto, it. I, puto. It makes me, me want to go and, and, and do something similar, dude. <laughs> Any shout-outs? Oh, dude, shout-outs. Uh, my boys at home, True Motive, my sponsor. They've saved my ass many times with this car whenever I'm breaking down and things that I don't know that out of my own knowledge to work on it. Uh, shout-out, Jose. He's kind of been my mentor with this thing. All my envision, I wanted to embody with this thing. Help me with the taillights, fitment, wheels. Always been there for me every time I need something or help or teach me it, I don't know. Shout out to my boy JT. Um, he's always been around, he's a good friend of mine. He's more of a Subaru guy, but he's kind of been around uh, to help me with my car. Cause uh, the thing is too is, yeah, I work on my car whatever I can. I'll admit I'm still new I'm not like a grease monkey like most guys but I like to like be hands-on and learn to do it myself and uh, JT's always helped me out this car whenever I need it um, and especially man Jose shout out to Jose Mendoza he painted my car nailed it he nailed it you nailed the color everything about it I've never been like happy with how it was from the previous paint I've had uh, you definitely made this one shine good enough for me and uh you've got a lot of give me a lot of attention just from that alone so um anyone else i'm missing i do apologize but you guys know who you are because every single person that's helped me get this build to where i'm at i'm forever grateful i wouldn't be this car would not be here in the way it looks if it wasn't for all you guys that supported me through my boys at true motive all the good friends i have just blessed man so thank you and actually shout out to the one only guy behind the camera right here <laughs> an honor to even be here so didn't think my car was even worthy and to show off to you guys and i'm just here just uh i'm just i'm actually happy with my car that's the thing probably <laughs> i was never happy with it but i'm actually really happy with how it looks still obviously ways to go yeah uh the the honors are ours man and you're helping inspire other people so no thank you